You know, in the fifth chapter of the Gospel of Mark, we're given two very insightful dynamics and circumstances and episodes in which Jesus finds himself being that great servant. You know, in Mark chapter five, we're told the story of how Jesus heals a demon-possessed man and casts out the demon into pigs and 2,000 pigs plunge to their death over a cliff. But also in this chapter, we're told of a woman who places her faith in Jesus when everything around her medically has failed her. As a sick woman, she says, you know, I know that Jesus could heal. And we're told the story of how she made her way and touched the hem of his garment and she was made whole. And Jesus asked this question here in Mark's Gospel, chapter five, starting in verse 30 from the New Living Translation. He says, who touched my robe? And the disciples said to him, look at this crowd pressing you. How can you ask who touched me? But he kept on looking around to see who had done it. Then the frightened woman were told, trembling at the realization of what had happened to her, came and fell to her knees in front of him and told him what she had done. And he said to her, daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace, your suffering is over. I love this. It wasn't that she had such great faith, but that her faith was in such a great guy. That's why she was healed. Jesus is the ultimate healer. And here's what he's looking for from you and I, a simple trust, a simple reaching out to him and saying, Jesus, in this circumstance, in this situation, in this relationship, you can rebuild, you can restore. Would you make me whole? I love that Jesus is our ultimate healer. And I wanna encourage you today not to put your trust into anything or anyone other than Jesus, for he and he alone is the one that rebuilds and restores.